This is gonna be an amazing 17 hour ferry. What's up, P Nation? Today we are exploring Helsinki before boarding a ferry to Stockholm. It's gonna be amazing. Apparently, the ferry is like 14 hours. That's good. Like we're gonna be really <laughs> exciting. But first, we have to take our bags to the terminal to check them, and then we're gonna go to the subway. We got it done. Okay, bags are packed. We got our tickets. And this like terminal is only for our ferry. It looks like it's gonna be a gigantic yeah. cruise ship. I'm gonna be so excited to celebrate my birthday morning on this cruise ship. It's gonna be amazing, sailing through the fjords. But right now, we're about to go into Helsinki, find a place for lunch, and explore the whole town. Apparently this market only happens on Saturdays and Sundays and it's like so busy. There are so many people here. We're here on a Sunday at 2 p.m. This is really, really nice. It's like super clean here and everything is like really eclectic. downtown area and it's really nice here it feels like everything was built in the 50s and 60s we haven't seen a lot of this architecture like ever in our travels because most of the buildings have been destroyed and then redone and then I kind of feel like and I hate to compare places but I'm getting a very big Seattle feel I don't know why I think it's because there's hills and it's like surrounded by water and I feel like we're walking up this huge hill and right over the ridge is gonna be Pipe Place Market but I, I know I think it's, it's not. because all the fish shops maybe translates to food hall. So it's just this like big open, it kind of looks like a market, but it's just a bunch of stalls and they have a bunch of different really yummy things that you can order to eat. And we're here for lunch and we are very excited. We got chicken teriyaki noodles and some chicken, chicken ball noodles, chicken meatball noodles. It's gonna be good. So I got organic noodles with salmon teriyaki. And this is definitely not Finnish food, even though we're here in Finland, we should be eating Finnish food. But like we kind of mentioned before, Helsinki is quite an expensive place to eat out in. I don't think it's very common for Finns to do that. So we came to the food hall because it has pretty good prices and delicious food. All right, so we had lunch, we walked around the city a little bit, and we just got some groceries for our long ride to Sweden. It's gonna be amazing. We are walking to the boat now. Hopefully we're gonna make it on time, but we'll see. ourselves full of all these bags. I don't think we've ever had this many bags before in our entire trip. We probably have 10 at least. And we're about to board our ferry and get to our room. We 
are like on a actual cruise ship. Every ferry we've ever taken has been just a boat, just a big boat. This has a mall in the middle and like retro elevators and live music everywhere. This is gonna be an amazing 17 hour ferry. I am so excited to show you this ship. home for tonight. Room tour. It's gonna take two seconds. We have one bed, two bed, three bed, mirror, and the tiniest little bathroom complete with toilet, sink, and shower. This is gonna be great. We're technically on this boat for 17 hours and we got here a little bit early so we may be here for 18 but we're gonna try and make this as fun as possible. We have the most tiny little room ever. I think it's probably the one of the tiniest rooms you can get on this boat, but this boat is like a cruise ship. So we have made it on the boat, we have settled into our room, and now we're checking it all out. There are a crazy amount of things to do. Yeah. They have like a whole theater on this boat. There's like at least two dozen restaurants. We brought our food thinking that that's what everyone else did. Clearly that's not the case here. pepper, brie, sausage, other cheese, tomato cucumber salad, have it all. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a tour of the boat, a short tour, because the boat is big, but it wasn't as big as I thought it was. So this is the main entryway in the lobby. It's like kind of got this, all these gift shops, and I think there's about six different gift shops, a tax-free section, gambling areas to the side, and a club all in the same area. So I'm gonna show you that first. Just like any good ship, they have a gigantic duty-free section with all the candy and booze you could ever want. And I'm on the middle deck and it is just so peaceful here. They have seating on the middle deck, on the top deck. There's plenty of places to be outside, which is really surprising considering that over half the year they are transporting people when it's super, super cold. So it's really nice on these warm days to have all this outside access. That is it, I have made my way through the maze back to the top deck. There are a couple club rooms with karaoke and bands. There is so much to do on the ship. I'm trying to go to sleep early so that I can wake up and then see the sunrise through like, we're going through the fjords. So if I go to sleep now, it's just water on the horizon. But if I wake up then, then there's like mountains on the horizon. So I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm gonna see you in the morning. Morning time. Unfortunately, I did not wake up early enough to watch the sunrise, but I was awoken by Leah because she told me that we are getting really close to Stockholm. Okay, so we're out here on the 
deck. It's so peaceful, and I slept so well last night. We've been really struggling to sleep because the sun doesn't really go down in Scandinavia. So Always it's like bright. it goes down at like 11 o'clock at night, and then it comes back up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So we were in like a dungeon. We didn't have a window, and I was like, oh, we're gonna wake You're up so early. Nice. So we've woken up in a long time, and we just turned off the alarm. <laughs> We're here now, we're awake, and we are about 30 minutes from getting a sock home. This boat has been amazing. Yes. Just like so nice, except the, the line for coffee was too long. But other than that, everything was amazing. And, and it happens to be Zach's birthday. He's turning 26. Happy birthday. So, thank you. Okay, we have now docked. We're the last one on the top deck. People are getting off the ship, and we are going to walk to our Airbnb because Leah is so good at getting Airbnbs close to either the airport or the port I or the train that station. We were here. That's it's, it's amazing <laughs> how you always do that. Anyway, so we're gonna walk to the Airbnb now. We're going through the city. We can check in at 11:30. It's about 9:30, and so we're gonna get some coffee and try and yes. find a pearl cinnamon roll. Some coffee. Airbnb, the nicest Airbnb host ever, and she left us cinnamon buns. We read all about these. Apparently, the sugar is like a really big deal. It's like compressed or something, and we were like so looking forward to it. And she just saved us a trip to the bakery. Okay, so we just made it to our Airbnb. It's really nice. It's nice in Stockholm. I think this next three days are going to be pretty amazing. Thank you for watching this video on the ferry. It was awesome. I really hope that we could do it again sometime with like some people we know because it was such a fun experience. It was. Wait, I look normal. I feel like I look normal on that one too. I look normal. What is this place called? Hey. Almost, okay, we're almost to the ship. I also want to point out that on the concrete, like when you're walking under these trees, it's sticky. And Leah just said that's because sap is everywhere. Yeah, it's weird. Like you, you, you're just like are. walking and you hit this huge patch of just like, sugary drink spilled on the ground. That's what it feels like, but it's sap from the tree. What's going on, Helsinki? What the? 